Hello the internet and welcome back to Launch FYI. My name is Alex and this is the channel dedicated to the website builder card. I haven't posted on here in over a year but I'm back and I've got a lot of ideas for new content and the first video I'm going to make is a recap on the changes that have happened in card in the month of August. So let's just have a look and see what has changed this month. So first up, we have something relatively simple, um, is some alignment options in the gallery element, the time element, the slideshow element, and the table element. So I've just created a quick demo page here, which I can show you a few things that have changed this month. Um, so one of them is yeah, the alignment. So I've just created a created a quick gallery here. So all you've got now is you've got the gallery um, option to align it left or right basically. It was already set, it was standard was set to align in center but now you can left align it, right align it, central align it, whatever you like. And that also applies to the timer, the slideshow and the table. So that's a nice little change to get started. Um, We've got quite a few new templates added this month. I think there's seven in total. Um, these can all be found in the usual place. If you go into your um, starting points when you create a new site in cards, um, these are all my t custom templates, but you've got them here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And out of those seven, only two of them are on a pro. So if you still are on a free plan, then um, yeah, you're, you're good to go on those five. Um, also, later on in the video, I'll be announcing the giveaway that I promised I'd be doing when I hit 100 subscribers, which I did recently. So I'll be giving away a free pro um, card account. So watch out for that. Um, next up, yep, another template. So you know where to find them. Um, then we have something that is actually pretty cool is support for line breaks. So at the moment to create a line break, you just press enter on the keyboard, which will just split out your sentence or whatever you're using a header or whatever. But that doesn't, that's technically not correct in, in, the, in the code aspects of the site because um, it's counting it as like two separate lines. So it's kind of breaking up the sentence. But what you've got now is you've got a uh, forward slash N, which will then just put that line break in. So if you do want to break up your lines, make sure you use forward slash N from now on. And that's just going to be a better way of, of, of giving yourself a line break. Um, next up is another template uh, rocking the purple color that card loves so much. And I've also stuck some purple lights in the background here for you guys. Um, now we have some patterns. So there's been a lot of patterns added recently. Um, this one is the equalizer bars and equalizer lines. So that's an animated one a version or a not animated version. Uh, let me see if I can just show you that quickly here. So again, we go into the page and then we've got patterns here. So we've got uh, equalizer bars. So it's worth noting that when you select your um, animated um, patterns, they don't animate in the back end of the site. You've got to publish the site and go to the live version and then they'll be animated. Um, but yeah, there's loads and loads of stuff in here now, so it's pretty cool. Next up, we have another template, which you can check out in the new site page section. Um, then we have this um, new blur option for containers, pages, and also for gallery elements. This is pretty cool. It's my favorite thing that's happened this month. Um, I did actually build a, um, a template um, a while ago based on glass morphism which does the same thing but this is um, a pro plus template because it um, requires some CSS but obviously you can now do it um, for free so let's have a look sorry I'm losing where I'm clicking so I'm gonna go onto my test site and we've got the page here so what you used to be able to do is just to change the opacity which you still can do, which is fine, which is cool. But what you can now do as well is you can add a blur aspect to it and that just really like vamps up the coolness, I think. That's just, I love that. And you can pick different colors, have a little play around with it. But I think that's cool, love that blur. Love, love, love that, great stuff. Right, next up 
we have some new fonts. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six new fonts. So if you visit my fonts page that is dedicated to all of the card fonts, um, fonts.card.co, I have just updated with all the new fonts last week. So every single font that is in card is available on this website. Um, there's literally hundreds of them. That's something that um, is coming to um, card at some point has been promised is that the fonts will be you know easier to identify what the fonts actually look like but for now I have created the ultimate workaround for you fonts.card.co um, next up yeah we've done that one um, we've got some icons so just adding new icons when they get requested by users um, I have created a page called all icons which is all hyphen icons.card.co um, unfortunately I haven't updated it that recently so not everything is on there it's on my to-do list but not not that high on my to-do list but I will get it done at some point but there are enough on there for you to to check out anyway um what have we got next let's have a look um yep yeah, we've done that one covered that uh, more patterns so we've got a equalizer pixels pixels animated heartbeat and heartbeat animated I do like that heart you one, pretty cool. Um, another template, nice clean uh, profile template there. Another template, don't forget where you can find all these yourself. Another template, um, and then we've got some more icons, um, seven new icons there, uh, Apple Books, if this, then that. Uh, what else do I recognize? Walmart, don't know why you'd want that, but that's cool. Um, and then finally, uh, they have added support for the Czech language, which is always great, added more languages couple of other things I just wanted to point out that I have been working on recently card cheat sheets um, I have been adding new resources to this this is cheatsheet.card.co design elements that you can use on your site uh, great stuff there just have a just just visit it and have a click around I'll put all the links in the description below so you can you can click around and have a look um, a couple of sites for inspiration a deck of cards which I actually have a couple of my own sites featured on there um, other car resources, some of these are free, some of these are paid, but they're all really, really useful. Um, put some of my own sites there as well. Um, there's one, this one's pretty cool. If you've got a Creative Cloud account, you can add Adobe fonts to card. Um, it's very simple, um, quick tutorial here. I might do a video on it one day. Um, I've never, haven't tried it myself, but apparently it works quite well, so that's cool. And then just some widgets, tools, and plugins, just various things like compressing images, member stack, you can create um, logins and payments for card. Um, I do think that sometimes there is limits to cards, so maybe you should use another service if you wanna start getting into like logins and payments, maybe WordPress or Shopify or something, but it's there if you want it. Um, email marketing, I use Email Octopus, that can um, link straight into um, to card actually if you if you do want to join my newsletter that I've um, just started sending emails out again you can do that on any of my sites just pop your email address in there and I will send you updates on new videos and templates and things um, and speaking of templates this is my template website templates.card.co um, I've just added loads of more templates on here. They're all completely free now as well. I used to charge for some of them, but I'm not charging anymore. The only thing that you might need is a is a pro um, card account, but we do have free ones as well. So all of these um, all of these templates are completely free, which I've just recently built. Uh, one of them being this Mac Finder, which I just took inspiration from the Mac Finder on on my computer. I thought it would be cool to design a a site like that and it's got a good little intro animation as well which I like um, and it utilizes the, the the gallery element and their images are left aligned but yeah I thought that was cool um, and the other one I created was um, the Instagram um, app on as a card as a card template these are all free for you to access just go to templates.card.co um, <laughs> made these uh, these little Pokemon using um, mid journey the AI app the other day. I just thought it'd be fun just to see if I could make the three starter Pokemon from the first gen. Um, I think I like that. Charmander the best. That's pretty much it. That all I wanted to show you today, guys. So um, yeah, so the giveaway, um, I promised it at 100 um, subscribers and I've just passed 100 subscribers and just trying to figure out the best way of doing it. Um, 
but I think if you want to enter, just if you just put a comment below in any of my videos, I'll probably just count up all the comments and all of the subscribers that I've got um, their subscriber views public, and then I'll just do a draw on the next video perhaps, um, and you can win a year of Card Pro, which is cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I will be making videos more regularly, um, but until next time, Thank you very much. Have a nice day.